Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-2828. Item Number 2828 Level 2 Containment Class Esoteric Secondary Class Ticonderoga Disruption Class Kenick 3 Risk Class Critical 5 Special Containment Procedures SCP-2828 is currently uncontainable and is ubiquitous in global populations. However, risk of breach of security or public discovery is deemed low, as it is undetectable without the use of strong gnostics. Undercover Foundation Operatives, primarily members of MTF Epsilon-7, forget-me-nots, Posing as high-ranking employees in pharmaceutical and chemical manufacturing companies that to monitor any projects aimed at production of chemicals with monastic capabilities, procure prototype batches to test for effectiveness at facilitating perception of SCP-2828, and either halt the research or allow it to continue based on the results. Foundation web crawler algorithms are to routinely search through internet posts and scientific journals for any potential references to SCP-2828 and operatives are to investigate accordingly. With MTF Eta-10, see no evil, and MTF Eta-11, savage beasts, on standby, descriptions of SCP-2828's visual appearance, texture, sound, odor, or taste are to be tested for safety with D-class personnel by double-blind racer and anti-memetics department personnel and redacted or expunged accordingly. The personnel files of any Foundation personnel who have never observed SCP-2828 under the effects of Nestics are to be appended under Level 2 clearance with a list of the senses associated with any descriptions of SCP-2828 to which the respective personnel have been exposed. The personnel files of all anti-memetics department personnel and any other personnel who work with SCP-2828 documentation are to be checked before each administration of mnestics and before each approval of access to SCP-2828 documentation and are to be updated within one workday of any new exposure. Description SCP-2828 is an anti-memetic and nearly undetectable part of the human body located behind the ear. The role of SCP-2828 in bodily systems is virtually non-existent, and is hypothesized to be fully vestigial. SCP-2828 can only be perceived through the use of Class W or strong amnestics, but only to a limited degree if at all. When it is perceived, it can only be perceived with one sense. As in sight, touch, hearing, smell, or taste. Thermoception, proprioception, Nociception, equilibrioception, and mechanoreception do not apply. Whichever sense is used to perceive SCP-2828 first by a given subject is the only sense the subject will ever be able to perceive it with. For example, if a subject saw SCP-2828 before he or she felt, heard, smelled, or tasted it, then the subject would not be able to ever feel, hear, smell, or taste it. This effect extends to all forms of communication, a subject who has seen SCP-2828 is unable to understand a written or verbal description of its smell, descriptions of the sound it makes, etc. Amnestics are capable of erasing memories of SCP-2828, but the subject will still be unable to use any sense other than the one the subject first used to perceive it to perceive it again. This is thought to be because SCP-2828 permanently alters the brain chemistries of those who perceive it. A subject who has never observed SCP-2828 under the influence of Nestics can be told and fully comprehend information regarding SCP-2828 that uses more than one sense to describe it. However, if said subject uses Nestics afterwards and attempts to observe SCP-2828 using any sense, redacted, 
It is therefore imperative that no Foundation personnel learn of any complex or relatively detailed description of SCP-2828's appearance, texture, sound, odor, or taste. See Special Containment Procedures. Other than this, SCP-2828 poses no immediate danger and possesses no further anomalous properties. Partial Test Log As of the 26th of May 2019, all tests regarding SCP-2828 are to be reported to Project Director A in the following format. Date MM slash DD slash Yi Test Administrator Name of Personnel Administering Test Test Subject Designation or Name of Test Subject Forward Preface Explaining Testing Procedures First Sense First Sense Used by Subject to Perceive SCP-2828 Results Summary of Test Results and Findings Notes Optional Administrator Notes Date the 5th of September 2019 Test Administrator, Dr. A. Test Subject, D206344. Forward, Subject was given a MG dosage of Class W Mestics and ordered to look at the area behind Dr. A's ears and describe what she saw. Subject was then ordered to feel the area under supervision of two armed guards and describe what she felt. First Sense Sight Results Subject successfully described SCP-2828's appearance, stating, data expunged, matching the description provided by Dr. A. H. When ordered to feel it, Subject stated she could not feel anything at all. She went on to say she could see, her, hand touching the thing, but, she could not, feel a damn thing. Notes, results support the hypothesis that SCP-2828 maintains a consistent appearance no matter the observer. Date, the 30th of May 2019. Test Administrator, Dr. J. A. Test Subject. D206344, Subject A, D206345, Subject B. Forward, following Dr. A's promotion to Project Director, Dr. J. A. took over testing. To minimize repercussions from possible unforeseen consequences, Dr. J. A. was not given mnestics. Subject B, who was blind from birth, was administered a MG dosage of Class W Mestics, ordered to feel the area behind Subject A's ears, and describe what he felt to Subject A. Subject A was ordered to describe what she heard Subject B say. Subject B was ordered to type his description with a Braille to English typewriter, and Subject A was ordered to orate the description. First Sense Subject A Sight, Subject B, Touch. Results, Subject B reported, data expunged, and related the description to Subject A. When asked to repeat what Subject B said, Subject A claimed he had not spoken to her. Subject B repeated himself, and Subject A claimed Subject B must have been speaking in another language, and was unable to repeat what she heard. Dr. J. A was able to hear and understand Subject B's description in English. After Subject B typed his description and handed it to Subject A, she claimed the letters moved and she could not find the words. When Subject B typed up a second, identical description and handed it to Subject A, she claimed it was a completely blank piece of paper. Dr. J. A. was able to read and understand Subject B's description. Notes SCP-2828's antimimetic effect seems to extend to verbal and written forms of communication. I, Dr. J. A. have listened to Subject A's description of SCP-2828's appearance and can comprehend it as well as Subject B's description of how it feels.
This must be because I have not witnessed SCP-2828 directly for myself. I am putting in a request for a personal dose of Class W Mestics. Request approved. Antimimetics Department Director, Redacted. Date, the 17th of June 2019. A Test Administrator, Dr. F. A. Test Subject, Dr. J. A. Subject A, D-206392, Subject B. Forward. Subject A was familiar with descriptions of both SCP-2828's appearance and texture beforehand. He received a MG dosage of Class W Mestics while blindfolded, wearing earplugs, and having his nose taped shut. Subject B was positioned in front of Subject A so as to provide a direct line of sight with SCP-2828. Subject A's blindfold was removed, and he was asked to describe what he saw. First sense. Subject A. Sight. Subject B. None. Results. Data expunged. Dr. J. Could not be saved. Notes. Data expunged. Clearance level, special containment procedures, and object class have been updated to reflect the results of this test upon the request of F. A. and review by Racer. Racer coordinator, redacted. Cognito hazard warning, level 3 credentials required. If you are reading this, then you have undergone enough mimetic resistance conditioning, according to your credentials to be safely permitted access to the following classified information. However, due to the strong cognito-hazardous nature of SCP-2828, some information must be left out for your safety. Dr. F.H. The anatomy of SCP-2828 is outwardly similar to that of the outer ear, possessing a small auricle. It consists mainly of otherwise typical epidermal and dermal skin cells, with some internal cartilage and very minute amounts of fat, but no nerves and few blood vessels. SCP-2828-1 denotes cells that make up SCP-2828 instances. No SCP-2828-1 instances observed thus far have ever made any movements whatsoever. Chemical tests on SCP-2828-1 have produced no reactions on the part of SCP-2828-1 instead of interacting with molecules that comprise SCP-2828-1, all reagents seem to bounce off the membrane. Protein pumps and channels are non-functional in a similar manner. Furthermore, no metabolic processes have been recorded to occur within SCP-2828-1 instances. All SCP-2828-1 instances observed thus far are frozen in an identical manner. As a result, all SCP-2828-1 instances are indestructible through conventional means. An anomalous and apparently indestructible substance, referred to as SCP-2828-2, found between SCP-2828-1 instances lock SCP-2828-1 in their set configuration. The natures of SCP-2828-1 and SCP-2828-2 make SCP-2828 effectively indestructible, which has somewhat hindered research. SCP-2828's small size makes it only effective as a defensive benefit against puncture wounds to a specific area of the throat from a specific angle. This makes it particularly effective at providing protection from a a nocturnal and highly intelligent anomalous species that preyed on early hominids. They are known to have kept large libraries dedicated to the study of hominid anatomy and behavior, and controlled hominid populations like livestock. They died off suddenly about eight years ago for previously unknown reasons, and is speculated to have been evolved to suit this purpose. Testing with scp x one of the last living a greatly supports this hypothesis. Had innate mestic qualities and kept extensive records on hominid anatomy and behavior that they shared amongst themselves.
Because of this, SCP-2828 would have incapacitated these natural predators of early hominids while leaving normal early humans unharmed. With all age now extinct, SCP-2828 serves no further obvious function and poses a significant cognitohazardous threat to Foundation personnel. If a subject learns of complicated descriptions of SCP-2828 that use more than one sense and then uses monastics to observe it firsthand, the subject will experience multiple tonic-clonic seizures, several strokes, and cerebral hemorrhaging, invariably leading to death. It is therefore imperative that precautions be taken to avoid future complications. Addendum 2828-01 SCP-2828 was discovered after Dr. A. a Foundation researcher and one of Site A.'s clinicians, was transferred to the anti-memetics department in 19-H. As with all anti-memetics department staff, she began a Class W monastic regimen. She continued to act as a Site A clinician. Two days later, on A. Slash A. Dr. A. A. performed a semi-annual checkup on Agent F. A. and noticed a peculiarity behind his ear. When she touched the area, she was unable to receive any tactile stimulation whatsoever. She touched the same area on herself with the same results. Recognizing the obvious anomalous influence, she contacted Site Director S. A. immediately. Addendum 2828-02 Following the events of the 17th of June 2019 8, all tests regarding SCP-2828 have been suspended by order of Site Director S.H. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.